Gonna build a mountain. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to another update video on Planet Zoo. Uh, got a few new bits to share with you today including a new animal. But to start off with, a couple of days ago this image was released. I didn't do a video on it because I don't, it is as pretty as it is, I don't really think there's that much here uh, to talk about that we haven't already covered. Uh, it's actually part of a little composition they're, go, uh, they're doing over on the official um, social media accounts of Planet Zoo so make sure if you haven't already to go and enter that. Um, all you have to do is tell them how many Many zebras you can see in the photo and, uh, and they'll pick one of the winning ones and as it was like a goodie bag or something so well worth doing I think there's eight uh, one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight or maybe seven I don't know I can't tell whether that is one right in the background there anyway um, it's uh, it's a good little comp uh, the one thing that we really can take from this is the gorgeous foliage I know I keep going on about it but my goodness look at that grass it's fantastic um, I don't know what I'm interested to know whether that's a brush or whether that's like the base grass now we have I imagine it's probably some you're probably telling the game it's long grass I imagine the regular grass probably isn't that detailed um, but it just looks stunning and obviously the trees look really great as well um, so yeah really gorgeous screenshot there wasn't really anything new on there though to, to warrant a video I didn't feel so I thought I'd stick it in at the start here but let's move on to the main news today which is this so about uh, six hours ago now this image was shared on their social media saying a new animal uh, is coming to Planet Zoo any ideas what it is um, I think it was pretty obvious and a lot of people guessed uh, that it was uh, the sort of undercarriage of a tortoise shell uh, a few hours later we found out that it's actually uh, this boy here uh, the big old boy look at that it's a giant Galapagos turtle and um, wow, he looks absolutely stunning. There's also a little bit of footage of him moving, so I'll show that in just a second as well. Uh, but a few things about these, they are huge, uh, they're very slow, they can grow to a very old age as well. Um, there's a really great fact about them actually tasting very nice, apparently. They're delicious, Galapagos turtles. I'm pretty sure it was Galapagos turtles. There was an episode of QI once, which is a great show in the UK, um, that talks about different f f weird facts and funny facts, and apparently it took them so long to actually get one back on the boat from the Galapagos Islands to get it documented because uh, because they would eat them all, the poor things. Uh, but now they are uh, considered no longer a delicacy, but an absolutely fantastic looking creature. Um, and even in this few seconds of footage of it moving here, there's just so much character uh, in it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The actual screenshot itself doesn't really give us much other than the animal. Again, some nice little looks at some interesting terrain here, some sort of dirt pieces here on the ground which is quite interesting um, uh, but the uh, the video itself there's a little bit more going on and you can see uh, sort of uh, a, 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 some sort of building in the background there that looks maybe like it was some sort of tiki building or or a sort of straw roof building uh, and then also you can see a raised up uh, fenced area there that's obviously a path across uh, showing us that probably the uh, fences there attached to the path uh, again much in the same way that they work in Planet Coaster hopefully we will be able to turn them on and off if we want to um, but yeah look at him he looks absolutely fantastic and uh, so far I think has took it for favorite animal uh, I think he's my favorite looking animal so far uh, just the amount of detail in the skin and the movement and the, just that funky little mouth opening up I think it looks fantastic. So uh, there we go. That's interesting. So if we work on the fact that he or she could be a female I don't know I'm not up on my tortoises um, if uh, we can assume that they uh, are the maybe 12th animal confirmed now I think uh, there was the original sort of lineup of around 10 or 11 that, that were mentioned in articles where they're actually named obviously there's mentions of others uh, other species and other genres as well but actual as named animals so you know West African lion uh, the uh, plain zebra uh, and uh, and now the Galapagos turtle etc if we reckon that that's probably around um, a dozen named and we've been told that we're getting 50 that must mean that we're gonna if we're if we're having a fall release which is sort of October September October November time 4 8 12 I'm trying to work out 16 
24. We're probably going to be getting, if they if they just release them singularly, we're probably looking at an animal or two a week announced now before the launch, uh, which is really quite exciting stuff uh, because, uh, you know, the more we know, the, the more we can be excited about the game. But I'm so glad that this is one of the first ones they've announced because I think it looks fantastic. And also, do you know what? It's not a typical sort of high tier animal, you know? A lot of people get really excited about lions and tigers and uh, elephants and all that, but I love the fact that we're getting some more sort of uh, standard zoo fare here. A lot of zoos have these because quite frankly, I, I think they're quite easy to keep. Um, they kind of just sit around and chill all day and eat some lettuce and they're happy about it, you know? So um, I think, uh, I think it's a great fit and a really a, a good way of getting some variation into your zoo so it's not just all big ticket animals. Uh, look at him. I think I genuinely think he looks fantastic. I really do. Anyway, that's all I've got to share with you today. Again, as always, if you're not already subscribed and you want to get all this Planet Zoo news as soon as possible, um, I could pretty much get a video out as soon as they announce anything that's worthy of a video. Um, so yeah, keep it here and click the subscribe button for all your Planet Zoo needs. Thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed it please give us a like uh, if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow don't forget to join our discord where we're chatting about this and lots of other games as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one